Let's just say, in the bigger scheme of things, in the larger picture of this world, Parth is an old soul um, with the heart of gold, and his perspective about love is so interesting. It is so today, yet so uh, vintage, and that's that's beautiful. And I'm glad that uh, I'm getting to play Parth because Parth is one of the most warmest, nicest, for the lack of a better word, sorted characters I've ever. I aspire to be someone like Parth, you know, that simplicity and that calmness. It's nice. I uh, relate most with Saiba. I think you know, you're scattered in your head a little bit. You want this, you want that, and I think Masaba being very fresh and very raw isn't shy of uh, coming across as vulnerable. She's so much fun. She's got a great sense of humor, and she's a fantastic actor, which I didn't know at all. And and I see her perform, and I, I feel like. Never acted before. Like we just started acting a couple of years back. That's almost impossible to believe. But then again, talent does flow in the blood. Yeah, I feel very happy and in a way honored that I got to work with actors like this. Sweet. When uh, one watches uh, this episode of Born to Love, you will notice a lot of long takes where, where there are conversations between Masaba and I. And the conversation go on for good two and a half, three minutes. Whereas in a three-minute scene, you generally have like plenty shots, plenty takes, and plenty kind of magnifications to shoot from. But Dhruv was just sticking to the essence of the conversation, and he just wanted to continuously shoot. Oh man, the conversation that uh, Ritwik and Masaba had while sitting on the while sitting at Masunda Lake, just the two of them talking. I don't want to say cut, so give me another one so that I can enjoy this again. You know, it firstly didn't even feel like I'm working with the first time director. He's so, he has so much clarity about what he wants, and he's so well equipped with how to run a set and how to anchor a uh, crew together. So I really enjoyed this process of working with Dhruv, and hopefully soon again. Working with uh, Dhruv has been a very exciting experience. I think uh, the one thing that uh, he's very particular about, which I admire, is that uh, he has great attention to detail. So I think that uh, that was something that. You know, I'm not somebody who's like that. So it was very refreshing to work with somebody who has such a great eye for detail. And uh, hopefully, we all find one story, one character, one scene, one moment to connect with. I hope people find hope again. And uh, hope and love, I think, is one of the strongest traits. So yeah, I hope that happens.